Welcome. Welcome back, uh, dear viewers. And uh, you are still watching the breakfast show. And uh, in this segment of our program, we will talk about the boom witnessed uh, by the tourism sector during the new year and the winter season. And now we are joined over the phone by Dr. Yahya Abdel Adir, the tourism counselor. Good morning. Uh, good morning. Happy New Year. Happy New Year to you. So, uh, Dr. Yahya, uh, can you tell us more about uh, the flow of tourists to Egypt for the New Year celebrations? Uh, how do you see it? Well, really, you know, like Egypt has been celebrated and very much in the life for uh, hundreds of thousands of tourists who like yes. to spend their Christmas and the New Year holidays in Egypt a long time ago. So, uh, for example, you know, like at the Gara International Airport, we received 10,000 you know, like visitors like two days ago. Yes. So we have an influx of international uh, visitors to Shami uh, Sheikh, to Gara, to Mexico, mm. to Asman, and to Cairo as well, because this is, you know, like an annual festival. And there are many uh, visitors that would like to come, you know, like annually, you know, to spend the evening in Egypt as well. So, uh, Dr. Yahya, what about the destinations uh, tourists flock to during that time of the year and why? Well, um, really, a large number of Europeans, you know, they love to fly to Cairo mm. and then, you know, like to cruise between Luxor and Aswan because it is very warm by this time of the year and it is uh, picture as well. Yeah. So, they want to go to business myself. And uh, numbers, you know, like from Europe and Asia as well. They like to pull up and spend their vacations in Dahab and Nueva, Tamashek, and the Ritzy Resort, and all the way up to Hagara and Musa Island. So this is minimum, you know, like, uh, like an annual building for them to spend their Christmas holidays and the near vacation on the Egyptian side. So, sir, uh, what is the role of uh, the Ministry of Tourism and uh, its affiliated bodies in promoting uh, tourism to Egypt during uh, that time of uh, the year? And how can we open new markets uh, in the coming period? Really, the uh, Ministry of Tourism and Security had a solid strategy in your life. You're around to do that 10 million in your life while it's having shows uh, all over the world. Uh, and uh, then uh, Egypt Air is uh, supporting this uh, efforts as well by opening, you know, like uh, new flights, you know, like to China. So this is one thing. Now we have more flights to East Africa for the first time. And we open, you know, like uh, new markets and regions in, uh, in, in Latin America as well. So this are, you know, like new support and we can guarantee more international uh, travel flows in Egypt as well with this strategy has been adopted by the Ministry of Tourism, by the corporations in Egypt, tour operations, and world airlines as well. So, sir, um, uh, why was it a must uh, to develop tourism infrastructure and uh, how did that affect the flow of tourists? Well, you know, like to uh, attract the you know, visitors by the volume of millions, you know, like. Uh, 15 million to 30 million, you need to guarantee and support a solid uh, infrastructure like the airport, you know, like the highway, the network, the railway, the marine transportation. So that's what we've been doing for the past 10 years. And then we have the superstructure as well. We have new airports, and now we have new hotels. Uh, within this uh, year, you know, like uh, it will be ending soon, uh, three. We see, you know, like the development and opening of uh, more than 5,000 hotel rooms. So uh, you need more capacity to accommodate, inshallah, 20 to 30, um, you know, like around 30 million visitors. So we need more, more than 200,000 hotel rooms developed in now uh, within the coming seven years, inshallah. So, sir, as uh, the year 2023 is coming uh, to an end, how do you evaluate uh, the performance of the tourism sector in this uh, year? Uh, really, we did a, a great performance, you know, like yes. a member of the world, you know, like suffered from, you know, like uh, economic recession, suffered from the epidemic, mm. suffered from, you know, like, uh, you know, like in, uh, in, in Central Europe, uh, you know, like the Ukraine war. 
and then we have you know, like the current you know, like tensions and process in the Middle East. So all this has been affecting the whole world, you know, like uh, whether you are in you know, like uh, in the territory or not. But really, we did, uh, we managed it so well through our group, uh, for you know, like the February in hard times, from economic to chronic to political tension. Uh, and that's you know, why we survived this, because, for example, throughout the corona, you know, like our hotels were working and uh, authorized and supported by the World Health Organization, by the World Health Organization, because we were following, you know, like the uh, uh, regulations uh, enforced by this category. And then we did so well by promoting and, you know, like creating more resorts, more, more hotels, more resorts. Uh, uh, as well. You know, like the I remember we had the support uh, museum for civilization, that's pretty attractive now. Uh, we did the like, renovation of the Israeli museum, and then the whole world is lining up for the very eminent opening of the Grand Egyptian Museum as well. So all this has been you know, like to promote travel to Egypt, and we had a resilient policy that, you know, like the place is the blue. So, sir, as we are approaching uh, the mid-year holiday uh, in schools and universities, uh, to what extent the internal uh, tourism is important for the tourism sector? Well, of course, you know, like domestic tourism, you know, like way we can look like about uh, 20 to 30 percent, you know, like of the uh, tourism attractions and movement and results. So that's why the Ministry of Education, the Ministry of Youth, and the Ministry of Tourism and Technical they're working closely to offer, you know, like budget and other programs for young men and women, you know, like, and students, you know, like, at high schools and colleges to visit Luxor and Islam and Egyptian institutes because this is part of the heritage and the experience and the like, skills that we need to develop, as well as, you know, like, uh, sporting clubs, you know, corporations, government agencies as well. They plan these programs and uh, make it as affordable categories for their uh, own staff, you know, like the workers to enjoy and visit uh, most of tourist attractions and heritage because of so, uh, Dr. Yahya, also, if we talk about the important archaeological uh, discoveries uh, in 2023, can you uh, elaborate on this? Well, really, uh, 23 was a good year because we made, you know, like discoveries in Saqqara and Armenia and, and Upper Egypt as well. And we've seen, you know, like the, uh, some of the caches that was like about 20 or 30, you know, like sarcophagus and mummies and Old Kingdom and Middle Kingdom and the 26 dynasties that have been recently uh, uncovered. So uh, we had a very solid year and uh, one of the, the major events is the opening of the Griffinum Museum in Alexandria. It took 10 years to develop and we know like uh, inaugurate and uh, update and you know, like so this is one of the attractions that has been you know like many visitors to Egypt now. They love to go to Alexandria to so enjoy attractions, monuments, archaeological sites and visit the Griffinum Museum as well. So, sir, uh, what are your expectations for the year 2024? Do you expect the war in Gaza can affect the flow of tourists to Egypt? Well, uh, of course, the, uh, the project, you know, like, uh, that has been, you know, like, initiated in 2023 will be completed in 24, inshallah. The whole world, you know, like, is awaiting for the uh, opening of the Grand Egyptian Museum. And, you know, it's, it's you know, like, great collections of 50,000 artifacts and you know like whole collection of King Tut as well uh, and you know, like uh, all the, the attractions it has for children for the uh hollow grams you know that has been offered the nursing vision of King uh to King Cameron as well that has been very accepted and very successful. So this is one of the great events we anticipate for uh, twenty four. But still the more hotels uh, and the group uh, opening is going to be there for international corporations uh, and all of the uh, uh, hotel facilities. We want to open at least um, like 15 to 15 new hotels within this year because some projects have been developed and just are waiting for the opening. So we're going to have a great season, inshallah, and uh, international airlines 
are consolidating their supplies to Egypt, as well as we open in more international airport, you know, like things to direct the flights from the Gulf, and we have uh, the same way and budget airline the flights from Europe as well. So we, we look forward, inshallah, to reach uh, over, you know, like 15 million visitors by next year. Mm. So, sir, uh, also, as we are talking about Christmas time, can you shed light on religious uh, tourism? Uh, at what extent religious, religious tourism in Egypt is attractive to tourists? As we all know, you know, like, uh, we celebrate every year, you know, like the journey of the Holy Family and fly to Egypt every year. Summer season, John, and we have, you know, like hundreds of thousands of visitors and religious groups that fly, you know, like, from India, from Europe, from Latin America, they like to leave the school and attend and follow the steps of the whole family. And we, as you know, like all the Egyptians, you know, like to celebrate this Christmas and uh, New Year holidays. And large numbers, you know, like uh, they love to fly to Egypt and enjoy the festivities. So religious tourism is uh, one of the major factors and attractions for visitors to come in Egypt because you know, like, we had the whole family in Sudan in Egypt for four years. And we have other uh, Islamic, you know, like sites as well in Kustat and the same area. So we have many, you know, like um, denominations of, uh, they, I mean, like multiple uh, religions that would like to come to Egypt and visit these religious and prestigious sites in Iran. Okay, finally, I'd like to thank you, Dr. Yahya Abdel Adir, a tourism expert. Uh, thank you for being with us and give viewers a short break, and we'll be back. So stay tuned.